In the part 1, we had discussion on reciprocal two port networks and uh, we know a network is said to be reciprocal if the ratio of response at one port to the excitation at other port remains the same when we interchange the response and excitation and uh, following this definition we obtained the condition for reciprocity and the condition is ratio of current I1 prime which is the response to the voltage Vs which is the excitation when port number 1 is short circuited this means voltage V1 is equal to 0 and this should be equal to the ratio of current I2 prime and voltage Vs when port number 2 is short circuited so this is the condition for reciprocity and with the help of this condition we found the condition for reciprocity in terms of Z parameters and uh, we found for a two port network to be reciprocal parameter Z12 should be equal to parameter Z21 and this is one important condition and using this condition we will find out the condition for reciprocity in terms of y parameters we have converted y parameters to z parameters and therefore we know that parameter z12 is equal to negative of parameter y12 over the determinant of admittance matrix and we also know that parameter z21 is equal to negative of parameter y21 over the determinant of admittance matrix now from here we can say that negative of y12 when divided by the determinant should be equal to negative of y21 when divided by the determinant so finally we are having parameter y12 equal to parameter y21 so this is the condition for reciprocity in terms of y parameters now we will find out the condition for reciprocity in terms of h parameters and uh, we have converted h parameters to z parameters and therefore we know that parameter z12 is equal to parameter h12 divided by parameter h22 and we know that parameter z21 is equal to negative of h21 divided by h22 now with this condition we can write h12 divided by h22 is equal to negative of h21 divided by h22 so finally we are having parameter h12 is equal to negative of parameter h21 so this is the condition for reciprocity in terms of h parameters and now we will find out the condition for reciprocity in terms of g parameters we have converted g parameters to z parameters and therefore we know that parameter z12 is equal to parameter g12 with negative sign divided by parameter g11 and parameter z21 is equal to parameter g21 divided by g11 and with this condition we can say that minus g12 divided by g11 should be equal to g21 divided by g11 so finally we are having finally we are having g12 equal to minus g21 so this is the condition for reciprocity in terms of g parameters and you can see that it is similar to the condition we are having in case of h parameters therefore if you remember one you will automatically remember the other now we will find out the condition for reciprocity in terms of ABCD parameters and uh, we have performed the conversion of ABCD parameters to Z parameters and therefore 
we know that parameter z12 is equal to ad minus bc divided by c and parameter z21 is equal to 1 divided by c. Now with this condition we can say that ad minus bc when divided by c should be equal to 1 when divided by c. So finally we are having ad minus bc equal to 1 or we can say that the determinant of transmission parameters matrix should be equal to 1. So this is the condition for reciprocity in terms of ABCD parameters and I want you to remember all these conditions because they will help you in solving the questions.